All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Oh, Biggie Boy is here, folks. Jarzinho Rosenstrike, the first native of Suriname to compete in the UFC. Decorated kickboxing career, but really took his training to that requisite next level when he signed that UFC contract. He said, essentially, instead of training twice a day, I'm now training three times a day, and his UFC results certainly speak to that commitment. Undefeated, calling out guys like Francis Ngannou. Not a lot of people burning up Nick Maynard's phone asking to fight the Predator. That's Rosenstrike in a nutshell. We'll see if he can get the power going early here tonight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, you ready? Round one of this UFC heavyweight championship fight. The baddest man on the planet. There he is in the flesh. He has defended this title in the past. And despite the fact that this has been a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, not since this man has held it down. We'll see if he can keep his championship legacy going here tonight. Oh, he told you off the twelve. Oh. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. And still, the baddest man 
on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.